it's really important to compress the rim. It just looks nicer. It makes you 10 to 15 percent cooler as a person. <laughs> um, when you think about how a building's made, you've got to have a floor and a foundation, <coughs> and structurally that holds the walls. Um, now, you know, as you start to get taller, the roof holds the top half of the structure. You have to approach pots that way. So when you throw a pot, your, your bottom is always a little thicker on the sides, and you've got the whole bottom inside. That holds the bottom half of your pot and keeps it from moving. Once you start to get either taller or wider, you need a nice fat rim because there is no roof. This fat rim gives this wall strength for that top half. Does that make sense? <laughs> you know, I see it all the time. It's like, but I got all this clay and I can make it go just a little bit further. No, don't. <laughs> I think I'm blushing. <laughs> You're speaking directly to, yeah, to I her. Talked to I talked to Bill before. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bill. That's a huge issue. And, you know, I see a lot of even uh, really accomplished potters that still do it. Um, man, it bugs me to no end. And the worst thing you want to do is make a big platter and have this little thin spindly rim. And you sell it to someone. And they go to set on a shelf, and it bumps the wall, and it breaks. And then you're going to get a phone call. Now, you notice I can take the splash pan off and throw this, and I'm not making a huge mess. Because you don't want a lot of water. The more water you put in, the softer it's going to get it. That's nice.